Hello, I'm Bonnie. Welcome back. This is our employer highlight series. And today we're talking to Tracy Lee from this dot. How are you doing, Tracy? Good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. It's always good to see you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I am very excited to be talking to you because I, I've actually been following you and your company for a long time. And I think this is great because this series is focused on companies who are like right now hiring Angular developers. And so mm -hmm. we're going through and talking to some companies. Uh, and so I asked you to come on because you have some open positions, which is super exciting. So um, before we get into that, I just want to kind of ask you some questions about, you know, your company and that kind of thing. Uh, do you want to uh, just real well, actually, no, we're going to get to that in a minute. I was going to say, tell us a little bit about yourself, but that's one of our questions. So let's start out first with uh, what does this dot do? Sure. This dot, we are basically a consultancy. We mainly focus on JavaScript. We are framework agnostic. So, um, you know, we're not married to any single thing. And we have projects in Angular, React, uh, Node, Vue, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's definitely a fun place to work. Uh, we're a team of about 50 folks now, um, and that team is continuously growing. Um, we also have another arm of our business called This Thought Media. So we're very involved in the JavaScript community, and a lot of our developers are involved in things like giving free trainings, um, helping underrepresented folks in tech, uh, you know, and just, you know, being awesome overall, right? Like just really giving back to the development world. I love your, I mean, there's like uh, this dot podcasts. I see so many. And, uh, and of course I'm on your mailing list. So I see all kinds of cool stuff and it's fun. I love the content and I, and you're doing a lot with uh, uh, Hasura and GraphQL and which I yeah, love. So. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of GraphQL lately. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Okay. Uh, so tell us about your role in the, I know this already cause I've known you for a long time, but uh, some people have maybe haven't met you before. So tell us about your role in the company. Sure. I am the CEO of the company, one of the co-founders as well. And well, <laughs> I think one of the most important things to me is making sure our culture is right. Right. So, you know, just working with our managers and our, you know, our leaders and, you know, building our leaders as well. So we recently created a leadership council and an emerging leaders council as a way for us to kind of, you know, um, harness the excitement well not harness but like encourage the excitement that we see and kind of like the growth potential that we see in people so that's been really amazing um growth is just generally important to me so i, I focus on growth in the company um so my passion's marketing so i'm always like involved in all the community stuff as well absolutely that's I, I've seen you at conferences for years all over the world. <laughs> so and you're still so you're so you're one of the founders of the company, but you're still like actively involved in the hiring process. Are you like how close oh, yes. are you to that? Oh, yes. Um, yes, I do all the hiring. So, um, you know, we have other people who obviously help out with the hiring and do co-interviewing with me. But um, yeah, I mean. You're because there's fine. something that you're looking. I mean, what is it? Is there something specific that you're looking for? Well, you know, I've built companies in the past and like the, the, the thing that is the worst is when culture gets away from you and, you know, culture has definitely gotten away from me in the past. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's not good. So, you know, I just feel like I have a, a good smell test on, Hey, do I, you know, is this person going to be long lasting? Right. So that's really important. And, Diversity is also really important, right? Like, do these people care about, um, uh, you know, teaching and growing? And, you know, I just don't want to make the wrong mistakes when it comes to hiring. It's it's super important. I think even probably up to like 200 people, like it's still going to be really important for me to be involved. How many people do you have now? 50. Wow. Yeah, I don't see myself stopping, like being involved in the interview process. That's amazing. Okay, what is your team working on these days? What are your developers doing now? Oh, we're doing so many amazing things. Um, you know, gosh. You have a lot of client work you probably can't tell us about, huh? Yeah, but I mean, there's, you know, we're working with a lot of, you know, really sort of like really well-known companies, let's say, um, which, you know, we're working on products like, uh, you know, one of our clients is building out this really amazing uh, platform, uh, you know, basically web.dev, but like 
different, right? Like a little bit more inclusive, I think, than, you know, just Google content. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really cool. Like, uh, you know, education for developers. Um, you know, another one of our clients is building out like, um, you know, DevRel tools. So that's really cool to work on as well. Um, you know, we help a lot of companies uh, go from like concept to MVP. So everywhere from like developing the team, creating the tickets, uh, you know, going through the design phase and everything like that, which is tons of fun. Um, and we have like a very large number of clients who just need, you know, staff and architecture help. So a lot of time we go in as experts and just like help them be successful uh, whatever that means. And, you know, that's like helping them create processes, helping them create recommendations for scale, working with them on performance, um, you know, integration of modern web technologies, like maybe moving from, you know, REST to GraphQL, uh, figuring out who owns it, right? Um, right. That type of stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so helpful because there are a lot of teams out there that are doing a lot right, but then they make some mistakes. And if they just have some guidance along the way, especially with, you know, getting that architecture just right, then uh, then they, they could do a lot more. Can you tell us about this uh, 20 percent, uh, the, the whole open source? Like, how is your company um, handling that? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not always 20 percent. It's like somewhere between five to eight hours. I mean, sometimes it's more. Right. <laughs> um, so we have uh, two of the stock products that we're building in house. Right. So, uh, you know, it could be working on that. All of our side projects are built in different technologies, you know, just to keep ourselves entertained. <laughs> so, um, you know. At least so they work <laughs> so they work on uh, client projects and then there's also some internal stuff that the team can work on as well. Right. And then, you know, also like helping us with developer tweets or writing blog posts, or we have this thing called JavaScript Marathon where we provide free trainings every month um, just to the community and, you know, developing a one hour course on that are, you know, are the things that our developers get involved in. And I love how, uh, <laughs> I think I, I just randomly popped into one of your podcasts a couple of weeks ago that was like just for women. And I love the uh, the diversity stuff that you've been. I mean, you've yeah. been involved in diversity in our community for forever, <laughs> at least as long as, as I uh, started hanging out. So mm -hmm. I think that's really good. Um, OK, so what what kind of help are you looking for now? Is there like a specific? So and obviously our uh, our audience is Angular, right? So yes. can we talk about the Angular? Do you have open positions specifically or you're like looking for the right person? How does that work? Yeah, I mean, uh, we just made one Angular hire, which I'm really excited about an Angular leader. Um, he'll be joining soon, but we're always looking for good people, right? So on any level, right? So um so One even thing. you have sometimes junior positions too. We do. Yes. Wow. So like our mid, our senior positions, we're looking for leaders, people who are going who, who like understand how to build culture, want to build the culture, have the potential to be better leaders, want to be better leaders. And it's the same thing for the mids, right? Like be a good developer, but like be, do you want to be better? You know, do you want to, do you want, you know, we're all about work-life balance. So this doesn't mean like working 80 hours a week or anything, but when you show up, are you showing up as your best self? Or are you just showing up to do a job, right? Um, so that's really important to us from a culture perspective. But then, you know, with junior developers, you know, I would encourage you to apply. And, you know, we have hired like three junior developers in the recent in the recent times, um, you know, not really having positions for them, but then finding positions for them with our clients through the apprentice program. So uh, that's, you know, it's amazing to see. I mean, three amazing women, for example. Um, yeah, so apply because you never know, right? Like, I feel like sometimes you look, we, we give people code exercises and sometimes you look at the code exercise and you're just like, wow, this person really has potential. And you just like have to hire them. So <laughs> I know I interviewed, I did a community interview with you a while back and we were talking about kind of uh, some people that you had taken a chance on at, yeah. at here and there and they worked out really well. Yeah. You probably just have good instincts for people. 
Yeah, well, it goes to the credit of like my team who does the code reviews, right? My senior people who do the code reviews. And, you know, some of them are just like, oh my God, this, we just have to. And I'm like, okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so, That's awesome. yeah. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the team culture at this dot? Yeah. So, uh, you know, where, I mean, I think, I, I think we did talk about that a little bit, but yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no worries. I mean, we're all about growth and learning, right? Um, you know, we have a foundation of pillars that we kind of lean on and, you know, a lot of it is inclusivity, uh, leaving the development world a better place, helping, teaching, growing, right? Being an inspiration to others. These are all things that uh, we really care about. Um, inclusivity and in teaching, I think, is like the most important. Like all of our people are teachers. All of our people want to be helpful. All of our people care about making other people successful, right? So you have like mentorships within the team. Like if you had a junior yeah. developer that was like, you have people can call other people within this dot for help when they need to uh, help. Yeah, everyone's actually assigned a mentor at this dot. And then uh, they're also assigned a buddy as well. So, um, you know, and, and if you're like an engineering leader, then you, you might have somebody externally from the team, like, uh, you know, Ben Lesh, who's one of the co-founders, um, you know, he mentors two or three people now. Right. Wow. So, so fun. yeah. And we, we have great relationships with like, I mean, we have such a large mentor network. So, you know, whether it's like a senior software engineer looking to becoming an engineering manager and they're mentored by our engineering managers here at this dot or whether they're mentored by an external engineering leader. We love That's that, amazing. right? Like if you're not growing, like what, I don't know. Life yeah, is boring. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I exactly. Love it. All right. Uh, I think, no, there's one more question. Final question. How should people apply? How should they reach out to you? So I, since I do the hiring as well, um, I'm one of the people that monitor the jobs at this dot dot co. So this dot dot co jobs at this dot dot co. It's terrible. Jobs at this dot dot co. Yeah, just email me there um, with your resume and a cover letter, right? And uh, you know we can get the conversation going. Awesome. All right. That is so exciting. I think it's a great opportunity. I've seen some of the awesome people that you've hired and uh, and I've seen this stop for a long time. So I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's considering it. Just reach out. It's a great opportunity. And thank you so much for coming today. We'll see you soon. Thank you.